<laughs> this guy's toast. Do you want me to get top 100 or do you want to see Yogg? Both is not a, an acceptable answer. Dan Butt. Dan Butt. All right, let's do it. Oh, I should uh, hide my name today too. If I'm going to top 100, I should make an effort to conceal my name. Don't look at my name. Look away, chat. Look away. I'm in love with this girl from you. I'm pushing pull when I do it. Oh gosh, Shadow Vision with Tar Creeper? That's what we call a Divine Inner Fire Combo Priest. Also known as a Monka S. Because I don't think Control Priest runs Tar Creeper. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, no, he, this is definitely uh, a Monka S Priest. I want to play my Doomsayer now because eventually what's going to happen is he can take control of my Doomsayer and smack me for 28 damage. Smack that ass for me. Smack that ass for me. Now this guy's going pretty early. Hmm, and this is a worrisome trend. <sighs> I will take a billion ice block. If you have a billion ice block, I will take a billion of them. Uh, mods, if anyone's being overly rude, instead of timing them out, you can just ban them. I'm seeing a lot of leniency from my mods right now because they're nice people. Uh, I drew both my um. Nice block feels bad. I'm gonna play the more, ex more expensive one. And I'm just gonna trade this in. You could potentially just pop me here. He used the inner fire though. But he, yeah, he doesn't have his nether spite. I mean, he has shadow vision card anymore. Does he run silent? Yeah, some of this does. <sighs> he doesn't run enough silence though for me to be that worried. Interesting. I'll, I'll start freezing once he has like threatening damage Is the sky's coach here? Where is this Hmm, he does have it. It's fine. 
Wow, perfect. Maybe I shouldn't have pinged it. It's not a big deal. We trade in our minion so he can't steal it. Yeah, I know we promised waxing. The thing is, she has a sponsored op obligation today. Um, we didn't expect it, so that's our mistake. Hmm, he doesn't run Shadow Ward Death. But if he silences my Antonidas, I can't win. <sighs> he might Acolyte into stealing it? I, I can get really cheeky Nando <laughs> with this play. But if he has silence, I just don't see how we can win. But at this point, I don't see how we can win either. If he has just the zero mana silence, I think everything else is okay. Interesting. Does he run mind control? Wait, he can't even play mind control, right? Does he have any card from my deck? He played tr three Drachnoid Ops. Master spell is a consideration too, right? Not the greatest spot right now. I'm going for a cheeky Nando play. <laughs> Oh, this is such a cheeky play. Most quest mage players won't take this risk. But in my opinion, this is a risk that I have to take. Yeah, he's trying to look for an answer. Because Master Spell and Zero Mana Silence isn't like always going to be available to him. Mmm, cheeky Nando, cheeky Nando. Oh, wait, that's not, that's fine, that's fine. I was like, all right, cheeky Nando play. <laughs> Do I ever just multi reflect this and just go Omega Balls? No, I think we just do this. This guy's toast. I think this should be enough to win me the game. I should grab more balls, but I don't think I need more balls, right? You have been. Cheeky Nando, <laughs> I used it zero girl. Sometimes a man with the hand is enough. Why is there a hunter? Go away, Hunter! Ugh. Let the game begin. I hate Hunters. Ugh. Most likely Barnes Hunter these days. Archaeologist, I mean this is a good hand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm in love 
with the shape of you. Come on, da -da -da -da, come on. I'm hoping it's Barnes Hunter. I think it might be Barnes Hunter. I can use this to deny either Barnes or uh, Omega Wolves. Yeah, God. Ha, this guy's toast. There's a chance it's Catrick. If I play, okay, I don't think I'll drop Dooms here though. Because the odds of him having Barnes is pretty low. And if he does have Barnes, we can go uh, Doomsayer Frost. Mm, I'm just pretty much never going to attack. Although I should proc explosive if I can, right? This is pretty good for his uh, eagle horn bow down the line. It's Barnacle Hunter. Why is he trading? This is so weird. This guy's toast. So we can drop the Doomsayer now to block the potential kitties. Do I want another ice block or another arcane missile? I think infinito ice block is nice. I don't know if he runs flare though. Most people have been cutting flare, but um Bond Hunter has a really good chance of running Flare these days. Because it counters uh, mages. Picking Ice Block is really scary. Because if he does have Flare, and the popular list does run one Flare, I'd rather not risk it. Because I already have two Ice Blocks. Hmm. I could just play Doomsayer now to block his wolves next turn. Yeah, I don't like Ice Block because, um,. If he does have flare, it's just gonna be really sad down the line. And plus, I already have two existing ice block. I wonder if I should save Frost Nova Dooms here instead for the dogs instead of saving it for one turn. That's fine. The three damage is actually pretty annoying. So I'm wondering if I should have attacked that one turn to proc explosive. Well, a coin ping one damage doesn't seem like it's worth it. Hmm.
Leok. I bet in Huffer, I guess. I should have Frostbolt Queen Ping. Stop trading! Yikes. I'm drawing pretty well overall, though. Hmm. Interesting. If I take six now, it's eight. Cocomer starts being too much. If I get a primordial glyph off this, it's pretty darn nice. Go come in. Fair enough. Might just die to a flare at this point. I mean, this is one of those situations if he has flare, then he has flare. I am living without a care if this guy's got flare. Wait, is this a yikes or is it a pog champ? Yeah, if he has flare, he wins. This is why I don't like uh, getting random ice blocks. Ooh. Two, two. Do we think he's gonna top deck the one flare? Oh, the extra mana goes a long way. Two plus two is four, two, one, two, 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 one. Two, two, two. That's seven. This would cost one. Not to mention this, an RNG aspect of it. Uh, it's one card, right? I think we take the risk. I'm in love with the shape of you. <laughs> hey, careful, Tells. Don't mill your cards. The nice thing about being like high legend is that your opponent plays the anti aggro decks. Which makes uh, OTK Mage so much better. Because at the lower rank legends and the uh, ranks, they're all playing aggro decks. They're trying to hit legend faster. I concede. Yeah, no flare. Pretty good for us. Free to pally. <laughs> Let the games begin. So the way Warlock beats us is Mountain Giant, Doomguard combo, Dirty Rat, and Nomparatu plus <laughs> Rin. So we don't exactly ca like even though Quest Mage is supposedly gonna counter them. They added so much new tech to also beat Quest Mage. So <laughs> Exhibit A. 
Um, so there's the super control version. I don't mind dropping the dooms here now. Oh, it doesn't have Mountain Giant because he's been spending those cards pretty aggressively. Rather be mana efficient, right? But then again, maybe I should have just uh, Arcane Intellect. Keep minions in hand to dodge Dirty Rat since he runs Gnome for Ratu, which indicates Dirty Rat possibility. We'll try and keep minions in hand if we can. To make Dirty Rat more awkward. What did you get milled? Novice Engineer. It's not that bad. Oh, yeah. They'll serve me now. Hmm. Paying our own minion so he has to spend cards killing his own lackey. He'll only get Void Lords though. I don't think he has dirty. Gnome for Rata usually indicates dirty. What the heck? Okay. When you see like these tech cards. Oh thank god, I denied his hand already. Mm, mana bind isn't too bad. It's mainly because the other options really suck. Polymorph isn't too bad either. For Rin. Yeah, we know he gets Void Lords because he's running a very controlled list. We can't not spend the card this turn. You a sheep now. Mana bind will give me a card, so I have to be at eight. This brings me to nine, which means I have to spend the coin, which I'm not against. Interesting. Just be more careful for now. I run double simulacrum to help the uh, warlock matchup against dirty rats. But I, I know I don't get affected by skulking guys, but every time someone plays skulking guys against me when I'm playing quest rage, I just run through my head. What do I have? What do I have? What do I have? Oh wait, nothing affects me. I'm Gucci. Like I, I still don't need a freeze because he doesn't run uh, doom guards. See what I can get here. Hmm. I just need to spend a card at this point. <laughs> He's so desperate for damage. He's cubing. Ugh, I need to spend a card. But then again, I can't mill anything bad at this point. Down to use a babbling book, which would then... Uh... Wait, if my hand is full, mana buy won't work, right? All I care about is dodging Dirty Rat right now. Mm. 
He might not run rat. And either I draw a card or he gives me a free spell. He runs Colite? Okay. Did not expect that. Oh god, this is... Oh god, what? What? Uh, there goes both my simulacrum. <laughs> Holy crap. I have to go? I need two playable spells off this. I, I'm pretty sure I messed up. I should have played Arcane Intellect first. I messed up. I should play Arcane Intellect, right? Because then uh, if I was forced to play Arcane Intellect, which was a random spell, I might have overdrawn my quest. I think I made a mistake there. Right? Yeah, I made a mistake. I should Arcane Intellect first. Wait, did I? No, no, no. And then... No, if I do that, then um, Cabal's Tome might not have given me enough spells to do it. No, no, I think it was fine. I don't know. There's a lot of math involved there. So what's the win rate for this deck today? Um, we're at 100%. Versus ah, his name is hidden. Interesting. Usually it's pro players when they hide their names. Oh, someone try harding. And since we're in top 200 legend, that's not surprising. Side effects. Hmm. <laughs> There's actually a way to see who you're playing against. But only after the game. <laughs> Ooh, every time I draw Antonidas early, it's like Monka. Yes. Oh God. Had, this one doesn't run Doomguard. But I wonder if it runs Mountain Giant. Because I play Doomsayer and he rats. Or if he has double rat, God help me. I'm worried about Mountain Giant. More than anything. Rats always gonna be an RNG fest. Ooh, that's good now. <laughs> that's what we call a cheeky Nando. Oh my god, really? This isn't worth the freeze yet. 
We don't need ice block either because we're not at a point where there's enough damage. <sighs> oh, I'm surprised he's not uh, treating this in. Cheeky Nando. <laughs> you guys ever had Nando's? It's actually a restaurant that I enjoy. <laughs> milling glyph sucks, but better than milling like a combo piece. I should blizzard now. Oh, never mind. He's gonna do my job for me. <sighs> Why does guys scare me so much? Like in my brain, I know it doesn't matter, but. Whew. Okay, Kona Code is perfect for this situation. I'm gonna save it though. I'm trying to be mana efficient here. It's expensive? Yeah, it's pretty expensive. I had it back in Malaysia. I'm gonna hold on to the Babali book. Trying to be cautious. <laughs> um, he's doing this because he wants to bite my ass in. I can respect that. This is one of those weird situations where if he has rat, please rat my Antonidas. Your magic shall not save oh, this is such a weird situation. So now I can rat and twisting. I should trade this in. No, he still has to file the father. If he doesn't kill Antonidas, I kill him. So he has to kill Antonidas. Oh, I get to keep Icebox for one more turn. That's insane. I don't think he runs Eater of Secrets though. I would have won if I just went for it, right? Okay, it's cool, Oracle. I'd rather him pop me for a turn, right? Is the sky post here? Where's well played. Someday I'll be just like you. Just like you. Someday I'll be just like you. Hmm. <sighs>
we're favored in this matchup, but there's <laughs> like if, it, if my Antonidas ever gets rat or gnome for rat dude, I just instantly lose. So as long as I dot like avoid that, I don't know, four or five percent card, then I can win. It's a very strange situation where it kind of just comes down to how lucky they are. Girl, you know I want your love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm getting some good mulligans. Priest. Um, the priest that worries me is um, Divine and Fire Priest because it's Omega damage almost instantly. And I can't really play around it, especially with silence involved. Noise. This is good if he goes like Omega buff on one single target. So, um, simple rule with Quest Mage. You don't actually need to play the quest until you're going to play random spells. So, if you have better things to do, you should spend mana on that instead. So, we had number one Babbling Book, number two. So, we Gucci, we Gucci. I can play this, which forces the Dustbreaker, or we can just chill. Then you force anything. Nani? Oh, this was unexpected. That's actually really annoying. If I don't hit this, <sighs> Moncus. <sighs> no, the, but that means I get to keep my artificer, right? Because if he leaves it up, I can still gain some armor, which is scary to him. We could also took the risk on the 50-50, but if I missed and it went on this, I just take 7 damage for free. Like, I don't mind this because um, if he wants to kill it, he might have to use a Dustbreaker or a Silence. Or that. So this is the control list. It doesn't run Divine Inner. Vape Nash. Or ooh. I don't need a multi reflection because in my opinion I don't want to take seven damage. <sighs> it does mean I don't get to collect Oracle this turn though. Multi reflection means I get my combo earlier. But 7 damage is a significant amount. And I'm already running 2 simulacrum. Yeah. I already run 2 simulacrum. I don't need the multi reflection. It's kind of overkill at that point. Let's just remove 7 damage off the board. He's looking for my ice block or my Antonidas. Or my Cabal's Tome into Ice Block. Which are all possibilities. We don't need to set up Ice Block yet, so... I'd rather just Simulacrum now, and then play Colite. This way we don't risk the mill on a good card. He runs Horror to deal with Doomsayers. Horror. Hora. Is this worth the freeze? 
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me find the deck list for the control priest. Let's say here what is popular. They run silence. They run um, some other stuff too. They run horror, double horror sometimes. Hmm. But they don't have a way to like buff up their minions. So I think I can wait one more turn before freezing. It's kind of greedy, but I think it's fine. Hmm. If I do this, then I do this, then I still overdraw because I can't play anything, right? Unless I play whatever I get a primordial glyph. No, I think block is fine. You're down to take damage against the class that can't cheese out damage. Right now, he has to get damage through the RNG sources. I want to draw my ice box so he can't drag me up into it. Mega lol void ripper. I never seen it. Slap my butt. Slap it. Slap it. He's looking for horror or silence. He has the horror. Yeah, that's why. We gotta keep it on the low. Don't do it fast, we can take it slow. Show you play for you and play for her before you go. You ought to know I won't be catching this. Hmm. He needs to uh do something here, or else that win. Can you do it? Proper ordering, not that it matters. Wow. Like mm. Sometimes when you have this much girls, it's okay to share with a friend. Ha 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 This is very scary. Paladins are scary. Do you want to save Artificer? Or do we just be like, yo, what up, Artificer on one? Sup. Sup, bruh. Sup. I only have one Artificer, it's a thing. Uh, <sighs> I'm gonna save it. This is a really bad matchup. Oh god. Yep.
If you rock pull, there's no way he killed us, right? You know it's rock pull hunter. I had to play now. That doomsayer draw. Oh my god, doomsayer, you god. <sighs> I don't even play this turn because any I can just combo with something next turn if I really want to play it. The problem is he runs hydrology, which means eye for an eye, which means there's incentive. Oh, oh, these draws must stars. The best play would be call to arms here. Ah, uh, of course, uh, it's turn four. Yeah, he has it. Pull some hydrologist. Damn. We definitely will give this the old ping ping. Trades are fine. We're about hydrologist, which is why I don't want to play my artificer. Because down the line, he might eye for an eye. I could always simulacrum an artificer. <sighs> no, smart play. Go for damage. I'm concerned simulacrum an artificer here. <sighs> Seems to be a tough choice. Wind Fury. I guess he wants to buff it down the line. You could uh, bless it on King Zed for essentially 8 damage. But Doomsayer before it gets silenced. He has 4 mana. What I want to do is go combo with Arcane Artificer and Doomsayer. So this way he can't kill both. He has to leave up one. It's like Sophie's choice, right? Make him choose between who he cares about most. Sadistic. Toast. Was oh, that the best play? Wasn't a bad play. Stop hitting me in the face! Stop hitting me in the face! No, oh, is that a spell breaker you just expended, sir? Oh my. Oh my. Now's a good time to drop Dooms here, honestly. Because even if he deals with it, he only puts on 4 damage.
Oh, that's a big ass weapon. Oh, don't mind me, just Omega drawing here. Pull those hydrologists! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Both hydrologists! <laughs> that feels really good, man. No more eye for an eye. So we don't have to save our uh, artificer. <gasps> oh no. Did this dude make the classic mistake? Of having a full board? <sighs> Can I get punished? Does he run equality? The YOLO side of me wants to go Archmage Antonadis Frost Nova. Because I don't think they run equality, right? Oh, that's so ballsy. That's so ballsy. Wait, how big are my balls, Chad? I keep forgetting. No, this is a case of just knowing what your opponents run. I think. I don't think he runs it. And he can't kill his own minion. Because that's the main problem. He filled his board. You should never fill your board against a quest mage unless you have a specific reason. I should have waited because he's gonna re-kill, right? Oh no, different dude. Deadly kitten. I've seen this guy on a lot of streams. Let me check my stats. Let's do a quick stat check. I'm not accusing him of anything, I'm just doing a quick stat check. Deadly kitten. Hmm. Hmm. I never played against this guy before. That name looks so familiar. Huh. I apologize. I honestly thought I've seen this guy before. Daddy Kitten, remember, you're supposed to oops into thank you. Oops, and you thank you. Hmm. Bad memory. I'm getting old. I'm too old for this. Sh okay, he does have Mountain Giant because you would not do that. So, what conclusion can we draw? He does that mountain giant. This is the conclusion. Might as well hit this. Runs coil, interesting. So, I mean, I've said this, but <laughs> essentially the plan is hope RNG doesn't get screwed. In terms of... Um, 
what we get off Nomferatu. But he's running Coil, which means he might cut somewhere. Is disguise coach here? Definitely draw. I don't want to play Doomsayer because then he can just um, play Lackey and get a free demon. Whereas if I play it now, kind of makes things awkward for him. I guess he could play second Lackey. If he runs Doomguard, he won't have. Um... Dirty Rats. Because you can't fit that in. This might be the list I used to hit Legend. Because I run one coil as well. Interesting. Okay, I don't think he runs Dirty Rat. So I'm, I'm going to play as if he doesn't have Dirty Rat. Because he doesn't have Dirty Rat. He does have Doom Guard combos though. Yeah. Yikes, sir. Yikes. Yikes! Yeah, okay, he runs double coil, so I don't think this is the list I run. <sighs> we need to try and get some free armor where we can. Right now, our hand, there's also another issue of our hand just being so thick. <sighs> yeah, second Doom Guard. He has a max of 15. Which will put me at 7. Is this guy's coach here? Okay, he can't do it this turn. When you spend out freezes now, he's gonna reach a point where he can just. Oh, he runs Mountain. Oh, he should have played Mistress. Off the off chance, he can top deck. In my opinion. <sighs> wow, two lackeys, two skull minari pulls. You shouldn't be able to pop this turn. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely have a hand size issue. So what's going to happen is we're probably going to have to go for Hail Mary play. We need at least one more Prentice or Molten Reflection or Simon Lacrim in hand to go for the Hail Mary to have a good chance with the Hail Mary. He's gonna pack it. Yep, that's fine. So now he can just top deck a silence to deal eight six to the eight six. Ooh my head is so full. <laughs> We're gonna risk a discard anyway. Okay, okay, okay. That's not that bad because it didn't know anything too important. And it forces them to have silence here. 8 6. Yep. That's expected. I don't mind because at least we get to spend a card. We're definitely blocking this turn. And I think we're uh, Colite Oracling too. We don't want to use Arcane Intellect because we can get it for free down the line. But in terms of hand size issue, we should um, Colite Oracle first. Because if we Glyph and Whiff, 
and then we ice block and then we collide and we get simulacrum we can't play it so you would block here try and dig for um, simulacrum and we hit it the problem now it comes down to a 50-50 We can take the 50-50 or we can play novice and just try and hit Molten and Sorcerer too, which is a fine play as well. But ideally we get a card that we can spend too this turn. That's fine. Because we can pick this, take a draw, and then make room in our hand. Four cards left, which means we can go off with uh, Arcane Intellect next turn. We draw one, and then we draw two, and then we draw one, which means we don't fatigue, which is really important. So there's three cards left, so here's what we do. We can simulacrum this and then really guarantee the ability to play everything for free. Nice and simple. Uh. Woo! Top 100, uh, 100 percent win rate. And you guys thought, oh, toast was washed up and never coming back. Lights out.